science. In this video, we're going to show how to solve proportions. So we have a proportion here. 1 fourth is equal to x over 72. First thing I will do is complete a cross multiplication. And so the 1 is multiplied by 72, 1 times 72, and x by 4x. And when we complete the cross, we have 4x is equal to 72. Now, in order to isolate the x, I will divide both sides by 4. And here's what we have. So we are dividing 4x by 4 and 72 by 4. The 4s cancel. And then let's divide 72, just to refresh our memory with division. And so 4 will go into 7, 1 times 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 4 into 32 will go 8 times, and therefore x is equal to 18. Okay, now let's try one in which we have a couple of decimals. Okay, and so we'll get to this. Let me cover it up so you aren't distracted. 8n, this is an n, is equal to 0.4 over 0.6. So I will complete my cross. Okay, 8 times 0 0.6, 0 0.4 times 4n. Let me show you what I got, and then I'll show you how we got there. 4, 0.4 times n is 0.4n. 8 times 0.6 is 44.8. Now, whenever you multiply with a decimal, you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. And in this case, we have 1. And then we just multiply it like we would normally. So I'm removing the decimal point. Okay, 8 times 6 is 48. But remember, I need 1 number to the right of the decimal. So I will put a 0.48. So let's get back to our problem. We have 0.4n is equal to 4.8. Okay. Now we need to divide both sides by 0.4. And let me move this up so it doesn't go off the page. Okay. And so now we're going to divide 0.4n by 0.4. And that's, they're both going to cancel out. And we have 4.8 divided by 4.4. So let's refresh our memory on dividing with a decimal point. Okay? So I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Now, whenever you divide with a decimal point, you do not want any number to the right. First, I've, I've set this up. And I've got this number. I just call it inside the doghouse. We do not want any number to the right of the decimal. So I need to move it one place to the left to accomplish this goal. So it becomes 4. And what I do on the outside, I will complete on the inside. So here is what you are left with. Okay? You are left with um, 4 into 48. Now remember your decimal is here, so I'm just going to move the decimal up. So 4 goes into 4 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. This is actually 0. I'm just going to bring the 8 down. 4 goes into 8 two times. Remember, here is your decimal, and that becomes 12. So your answer is, back to the original problem, the answer is 12, and I have it circled. So there we go, how to solve some proportions. Thanks for watching, and Moving Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.